What insight to Lamar can you give all of us as we're sitting around wondering about what's going on with him and your former team? And you've obviously done business with them, and that's part of the reason why you wound up in Kansas City, left tackle, right tackle, what you thought you wanted to be. Um, So what insight can you possibly give the rest of us right now, Orlando? Yeah, I mean, I I think when it comes to the Lamar situation, it gets tricky because of how much money is involved at the quarterback position. And, you know, I'm with him on asking for a fully guaranteed contract because of the standard that's been set, obviously, with Deshaun. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but it's a lot of money, and those things take time. Uh, the draft hasn't happened yet. These teams are trading up. Everyone's trying to see who's going to fall to them, what are their needs, what's important. Because at the end of the day, I mean, personally, the way that I kind of look at it is, um, and, and I know it's kind of said like this, but I don't believe this. I believe that. The quarterback's pot is the quarterback's pot for a franchise. What Joe Burrow makes doesn't necessarily affect how, what Jamar Chase or T. Higgins is going to make. What Aaron Rodgers makes, like I, I personally feel as though those decisions are based off of however front office feels about that player mm-hmm. as far as outside of the quarterback. So wherever Lamar goes, I believe that it's going to take a little bit of time. Some of these teams are probably still trying to figure out who's going to fall to them in a the draft. And, I mean, I think he's going to end up in a great situation if it is somewhere else. Um, I do know that, you know, obviously Baltimore has a special place in his heart. I know that uh, the franchise definitely um, feels a special way about him as well. So, uh, man, I mean, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough situation to be in for any player, but it's also a good situation because, uh, I mean, something good is going to come out of it for both sides. I guess uh, to put a finer point on it, Orlando, is what makes him tick? Because if it was about yeah. money, um, yeah. he could have already gotten an incredible <clears throat> chunk guaranteed, uh, yeah. not all guaranteed. It seems like it's about the principle of it. Um, yeah. And and I don't <clears throat> and that, that what makes him tick isn't what makes most people tick. That's yeah, the- I, I don't even know if I could if I could stand on that one for you. I just I like I like he's another guy that just he loves to win and he loves the quarterback position. Um man, so you know, I, I don't really have a ton of insight because Got I it. haven't really dove into it on him with that. But man, I mean, it's never been about the money for him. You know, it's it's definitely about winning. And, you know, I say it all to say as players, you know, as you what you do for a living, yeah. um, you know, it's all about respect as well as, you know, other things as far as winning too. So, um, you know, the principle, whatever whatever that may be, um, I mean, I feel like that may be a little bit of it. But, man, to him, I know what's most important is winning. Uh, last one for you, Orlando Brown Jr. I've got Baker Mayfield coming up next hour. You got a good story about you, – you, uh, you got a good story there you want to share? Got, uh, got man, that's Baker Mayfield's story. Yeah, um, what do you got Man, so I was in college. I, uh, I was not paying my car note. I got my car note snatched. I got my car snatched, and we just got out of breakfast. I'm looking for my car. I can't find my car. I see Bake in the uh, I see Bake in the parking lot. I'm like, hey, listen, they came and snatched my car. Come with me, bro. We're gonna go get my car back. I just need you to show face. They'll let me pay this car note. They'll let me pay half of what I owe if they just see your face. And so he was like, all right, let's do it. So he took me up there, show face. I got my car. <laughs> <laughs> That's just because it's Baker Mayfield wow. and it's yeah. it's it's hey. Oklahoma and hey man, his name rings bells. <laughs> it's like the Price is Right. You get a brand new car. Right. Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. now now I mean times are different now for you. You just you're you're good. You're you're oh, you're good I'm now. Blessed. Congratulations. Congratulations on everything going on with you. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.